Hi, you guys have brought me a very interesting question. Single mode fiber optic cable and multi mode fiber optic cable, which one is the best? This is a very tricky question because there's no right or wrong answer for this question. It really depends on your application. But there's a real difference between the single mode fiber optic cable and multi mode fiber optic cable. And we cannot mix use these two cables. The major difference is the diameter of the coat. It's just the size of the fiber optic cable. They are different. Let me bring the white ball in its spring. Let's say if this is the single mode fiber optic cable and this will be the multi mode fiber optic cable, ON3, ON4. Of course, the rear cable it will not large as this one. The fiber optic cable is just small as small as our hair. And in the fiber optic cable system, it's the light travels through this fiber optic cable and they are shooting angle. Let's say if the light just coming from the single mode shooting like this thing, if we just make the connection for the single mode fiber optic cable and the multi mode fiber optic cable, after the kick light travels through from the single mode to the multi mode, it's going to change the shooting direction. That's very critical. If the shooting direction is changed, then it will create a signal loss and even interfere in the signal. That's the reason why we cannot use the make the single mode fiber optic cable to connect the multi mode fiber optic cable directly. And I will use personally, I use the multi mode uh, single mode fiber optic cable in most of the case. The reason is because the distance for the single mode fiber optic cable it can achieve up to 80 km. It's very long. I think it's sometimes it's just between one city to another. That's no problem. And for the multi mode fiber optic cable, the maximum distance is limited to about 550 meters. It's about 3,000 feet. And so, when working with the single mode fiber optic cable, there's no need to worry about the distance. How about the speed, bandwidth? Actually, it's quite easier for a single mode fiber optic cable to carry, to handle up to 10 gigabyte per second speed. 10 gigabyte per second, it's a lot of bandwidth, I think it's enough to carry up to 500 IP cameras just over single fiber optic cable. That will be enough for most of the case to connect the point A to the point B. But why we still need the multi mode fiber optic cable? It's just like, like the backbone network between the building or the connection between two network devices in the data center will use the multi mode fiber optic cable. The reason is when the speed increase from the 10 gigabyte per second to 40 gigabyte per second or even 100 gigabyte per second, the multi-mode solution will be cost effective. It's not because the cable. The cable, I think it doesn't matter. The thing is about the SAP transceiver. If we are using the, like, the 40 gigabyte per second, 100 gigabyte per second bandwidth, you need to have the transceiver and the transceiver, the cost will be high for the single mode. I think it's also, let me just connect the camera to the switch and demonstrate and see what we need in the standard fiber optic cable system. Then we will know why this cost will determine the cost. Okay, this is the PoE switch. And we got a PoE port, also to SAP slot. The SAP slot is the, like the media converter. It can convert the fiber optical signal to electronic signal. You can see it's totally empty. We cannot connect the fiber optic cable to the, this SAP slot directly. The reason is we still need the SAP transceiver. These two are the SAP transceiver. Like what we mentioned, when we, use the, when we try to upgrade the system to 100 gigabyte per second or 40 gigabyte per second, then the SAP transceiver will determine the cost because the cost for the single mode will be very high, but in our case, we just use one gigabyte per second or 10 gigabytes per second. The cost will be quite similar. Okay, I've installed the SAP slot to the PoE switch. Now it allows me to connect the fiber optic cable. This is the pre-made fiber optic cable. So I don't need to make the connector. The connector is being made in the factory. It's a single mode fiber optic cable. I will use one fiber optic strand to connect the SAP transceiver. Now this switch is able to 
connect the fiber optic cable. And let's move to the second end to find the camera. You cannot connect the fiber optic cable to the camera directly. It makes sense, right? Because the camera only can take in the K5 UK6 Ethernet cable. Okay, now let's install. This is the media converter. It will convert the fiber optical signal to the electronic signal. All right. Let me just remove the cat and connect the fiber optical stride from the switch. Then use short punch code link the media converter to the camera. Okay, last thing is let's just power up the media converter. The system is ready. Let's say I think it will take a while before we see the camera on the monitor. I guess it's live now. It's quite easy. The, in the fiber optical system, we need to have a fiber optic cable. Also, if, uh, if your device only can take in the K5 or K6, like this RJ45 network port, we also need to have the media converter or the switch with the media converter built in. The last thing is the SAP transceiver. I just show you. The SAP transceiver will determine what kind of fiber optic cable we can use. If I use like this, I use the single mode fiber optic cable, I need to choose the SAP transceiver using the single mode fiber optic cable. That's the reason why I said if you are using the backbone network or the connection in the in the data center, like connecting to network switch, if you you, you are using the very high bandwidth, like the 100 gigabyte per second in future, then you may need to have the multi mode fiber optic cable. It will save the cost. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.